Hi everyone, welcome to this short tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can use Passport with Spectre Desktop, a really simple and easy to use interface for any type of hardware wallet. Spectre makes it really easy to manage Passport and any other hardware wallet in a single or multi-sig fashion. For this video, I'm going to show you how you can use it in a single SIG setup. Let's get started. Okay, to get started, the first thing we need to do is add Passport as a device. To do that, I'm going to hit Add New Device. I'm going to locate Passport in the list of possible devices. Then I can give the device a name. Once I've done that, I'm going to scroll down and we've got the option to upload from SD card or we can use the QR feature, which is what I'm going to do here. That's going to open the webcam on my computer and then on Passport. I'm going to head down to Pair Wallet, choose my account, again the default is zero, choose Spectre and Single Sig. Finally I'm going to opt to export the wallet via QR code. Pressing continue on the next screen will show an animated QR code which I'm then going to hold underneath the webcam on my computer. There we go, simple as that. We have now added Passport as a device on our Spectre desktop. Depending on the type of wallet that you're gonna set up, you may want to add more devices here and we'll be covering that in a later video when we do our multi-sig setup. The next step is to create a single key wallet. So what we're doing here is creating a wallet managed by Spectre that requires a signature from Passport to create any spends. Here we can give our wallet a name. We can choose the type of wallet expect the defaults to segwit which is the addresses starting with bc1 and then we can opt to scan for existing funds now you'd only want to use this feature if this is a wallet that you're importing that has a uh, transactional history if this is a brand new passport that you're setting up uh, with spectre then you don't need to tick this box and it'll make your setup much quicker in my situation i know that this passport has transactional history so i'm going to tick the box and tell my node to rescan the blockchain so that it can pull up all of the transactional history for this device. Once I'm happy with all the details on that screen, I'm going to click Create Wallet. Okay, so we've successfully imported Passport and created a single signature wallet within Spectre. Spectre will then prompt you to save a PDF backup file of the wallet that you've just created. Key thing to remember here is that this does not contain the private keys which are firmly on your passport. This just is a handy file for you to, if you want to migrate across to uh, another instance of Spectre Desktop. Doing so using this file will mean that you don't have to go through the process that I've just shown you. Pressing continue will take you to the uh, first receive address for your passport wallet. So to complete the pairing process over on Passport, uh, pa Passport would like to verify an address shown by Spectre just to confirm that the import worked successfully. So on Passport, we're just going to click Continue, which is going to open the camera. And I'm just going to hold that up to the Receive screen, showing the QR code on my computer, and I should get a pairing complete success message. That confirms that the address being displayed by Spectre is actually one that is controlled by Passport. And finally, just one thing to note, if you did opt to do a rescan, if this wallet that you're importing does have transactional history, in the top left hand corner you should see a rescanning blockchain percentage. Uh, so that might take up to an hour depending on the hardware that you're running your node on. So once that's complete, I'll pop back and we will go through uh, receiving Bitcoin into this wallet. Okay, so as you can see, my rescan has completed and um, Spectre has found all of my historical transactions. So to receive uh, fresh Bitcoin into this uh, wallet, we're just going to navigate to the receive tab. And the next uh, the unused address should be presented to you. You can uh, click copy to copy the QR code if you want to share that via um, a messaging platform. Or you can uh, click to copy the text string address there. 
Uh, or e equally, if you're sending to this from a mobile wallet, you can just scan the QR code on screen, which I'm going to do now, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how you can send a transaction using Spectre and Passport. So we've received some Bitcoin into our uh, Passport wallet that we are interfacing through Spectre. So it's time to demonstrate a spend. So I'm going to make a donation to another great free and open source project, uh, the Seed Signer. So I've pasted their address in. I'm going to give this transaction a label. I'm going to enter the amount. This Again, this can be in Bitcoin or in Satoshis. If I click on advanced, I can set my fee rate. Now I know that the uh, network is pretty quiet right now, so I'm going to set that at one sat per byte. I do have the option to select manually select which coins I want to spend from. Uh, in this instance, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let Spectre choose for me. And then I'm going to choose create unsigned transaction. Okay, so we have our transaction details at the top here. Next up, I'm going to sign with my passport device. As always, we have the option to sign with an SD card or we can use QR codes. For this example, I'm going to use QR codes. So on screen now, we have the um, QR version of the unsigned transaction waiting for a signature from Passport. So on Passport, I'm going to open the device and head to sign with QR code. That's going to open the camera. I'm just going to scan the QRs on screen. So Passport's going to show me the amount that's been sent, the destination address, the change amount, and the change address, and finally the network fee. Once I'm happy with those details, I can press Sign. And Passport is then going to show a series of animated QR codes, which is the encoded version of the signed transaction that we need to pass back to Spectre using QR codes. So on Spectre, I'm just going to hit sign, scan signed transaction, which is going to open up my computer's webcam. I'm just going to scan the QR codes on screen. There we go, we have our transaction ready for broadcasting. So we have a couple of options we can send. We can send via an external block explorer. We can save it for sending later, or we can copy the transaction. So I'm just gonna hit send transaction. And there we go, the transaction has been broadcast to the network. It's in an unconfirmed state. After a short period of time, that should get a confirmation and Seed Signer will receive their donation.